Okay, let's turn back to our forecast. Still chilly, still feels like winter. <laughs> With five days to go, mid, right? Or something like that? Yeah, midweek is shaping. Yeah, you get yeah. to Saturday. Saturday's Saturday is going to kick off Saturday morning, 5 30 in the morning or something. 5 37, I think, is where you're going to kick off the spring season. But, you know, KJ's right. We've got some wintry weather out there right now. I think we could have more significant wintry weather on Friday. So we're not ready. To say at least Mother Nature's not ready to say goodbye to winter yet. Let me get you outside. Probably you are ready. It is a cold and overcast night. 35 degrees. Taking a peek at the high temperature. Now about an hour ago, a little bit more than an hour ago, you hit 37. All right. But temperatures at 35 right now are going to remain stable. Overnight low is, in fact, 35. We just sort of hang out there for the next five, six hours. It's cloudy, it's cold. Could be a little bit of drizzle out there, kicking off your St. Patrick's Day. But let's get right into it. So here's the current radar picture. A couple things I want to point out. Actually, the Jersey Shore, right around the Monmouth Ocean County line, you had a couple little bouts of rain come through. Now, the heaviest stuff is offshore, left with a little bit of very light rain around Lakewood. And again, right on the county lines. Then if you go out towards the east end, East end, we've seen a couple of flurries fly through the air. I had some reports of even some grapple, kind of like a, a sleep sort of falling around Forest Hills. And here's how, here's how I see everything working out. All right, this is initializing just fine. All right, this is maybe a little bit more intense in central Connecticut, but just fine. Watch how it progresses. All right, you get to tomorrow morning, a little bit of drizzle could linger in certain spots out there. There's not too, too much. So whatever precipitation is out there right now, I think it has very little to say about your morning commute. Then you go through your St. Patrick's Day, the clouds stick around, but not so much precipitation. Now, Thursday is going to be a different story. Watch what's going to happen on Thursday. We're watching this rain push in from the south and west of us, but this model ends at 7 a.m. I have nothing else to show you, so I'm going to change the models. I'll pull up here. All right, let's put the RPM into motion, the rapid progression model, and watch this. Some bouts of moderately heavy, even some heavy rain bouts on Thursday afternoon. This is about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And then it intensifies a bit. And now watch what happens. All right, 12 a.m. This is midnight Friday. Bouts of very heavy rain down on the Jersey Shore. But watch this snow that we start to see creeping in the cold side of the storm now takes over and it drops all the way down into the city that's 7 30 friday and now the models are saying wait a second this is going to linger a bit longer than we thought that's now lunchtime and then it gets out of here so there's the potential for some measurable snow out there possibly anywhere from you know a half an inch to two maybe two and a half inches we will watch all that for you guys that's an early call we're just seeing it come together 49 for st patrick's day 52 on thursday friday you're 42. Remember, you start off with some rain there, could finish with some snow. You kick off spring on Saturday, high of 48. It gets warmer after that. Guys, it's all yours. Okay, Lonnie, thank you.